Okay, welcome to this PHP security tutorial. In this video we are going to talk about XSS attacks, um, briefly explain what they are, and then tell you how to prevent them causing problems for your site. Um, we're just going to be working with this one page that I've got open here. Um, basically, uh, well, I've got the code as well. Um, all this does is, at the moment anyway, all it does is take um, an input from a text area and just output it directly onto the screen. This is sort of to simulate, if you like, say, like a comment system where something would be stored in a database and then output from the database. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Um, I haven't actually set up a database because there's just sort of no need for it, really. Um, so, yeah, let's get on with the tutorial. So, if you see, we have if is set echo post input, where input is this text area. So if I um, go back to our browser, reload this page, uh, if I type something in here like test and just hit go, uh, we see we just get test on the screen. Um, so what would normally happen is instead of just like echoing this, you would take this and store this like variable or whatever into a um, database. Uh, actually, let's just yeah, let's just do data equals and then echo data. So instead of having echo data you'd have MySQL query insert data into table type thing. Uh, still working, I think, good. Okay, so uh, what an XSS attack is, is effectively someone injecting HTML code onto your page. Um, usually they uh, would do it, like with it, they would do a script tag, uh, add some JavaScript, but it can be anything really. So, for example, if I type in this box, HTML strong test strong, no, don't save it, and hit go, um, you see we get um, test in bold. If I view the source of this page, um, just bring this into view, you see what we've actually got on the page is strong test strong. Uh, it's been pro the mm, the input has been processed by the browser as HTML. Um, which is something that we don't want, obviously, because people could do could do all kinds of malicious things. Like, for example, um, if they did script tag, um, script type equals text slash JavaScript. Uh, yeah. Um, window dot location equals http http google.com I'll try and do this a bit quicker uh, script um, if they do that then you see we get redirected to google basically they could use they could um, sort of steal our visitors or um, they could also steal your cookie data all kinds of bad things can happen if you let people just do random JavaScript on your site. Oh, uh, by when I say steal your cookie data, I mean that they can steal your cookie, basically. Um, so that um, they can basically log in as you. If you have like an admin system or something, and they steal your cookie, they can send that cookie. Uh, and providing your session hasn't expired, they can take your session, take control of your session. So yeah, um, that's obviously something we don't want to happen. Uh, so how do we prevent this? Um, there are two ways. Um, usually I just do the first one because you often use this for like a comment system where people might actually want to comment um, posting sort of HTML snippets, examples, um, and that is the HTML entities function. And what that function does is convert any character like, um, well let's say if you have the um, that in, in the um, input, it would convert the two brackets at the end of this to their HTML entities. Um, so you, what you'd actually get is and gt like so. Uh, and obviously, as the browser wouldn't process this as HTML because it isn't, uh, but what you'd get displayed is sort of the literal that no that you'd get that on the screen. Literally, it wouldn't be processed as a strong tag. So it's quite simple. Uh, you just use HTML and like so, and if I now go back to our browser, reload this page, 
And if I do that same script thing we did, hit go, you see we just get the literal sort of um, text I entered displayed, um, which is obviously what you want. Um, if I view the page source, you'll see what's actually happened. So you've converted the opening, closing tags, quotes, and the would be some other symbols if I'd used them, um, sort of characters into these entities, which are just displayed like that. Just close that. Um, so yeah, that after you've done that, you would be pretty much safe from XSS attacks. Um, sometimes you might want to use the strip tags function as well, but bear in mind that this function is um, it will stri it won't just strip HTML tags; it will strip anything that looks like a HTML tag. So that's pretty much anything between those angle brackets. Um, so yeah, need to be aware of that. And also, um, it's not usually a desirable thing to do because. I mean, pe people might want to comment, like say if you had a blog and you posted an article about some kind of JavaScript or HTML thing, someone might want to comment say, like saying, oh, you can redirect someone, here's the code that does it. So obviously it's not sort of ideal just to remove all HTML. Um, but I'll just show you how that works anyway. Basically, strip tags is a function, takes a single parameter, uh, and it strips tags. If I refresh this, you see we just get the window.location bit. Um, again, it's not really ideal. I don't really like that method. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I don't really like that. HTML entities seems like the way to go for me. Um, there is also a function called HTML special chars, I think it's called that, um, which is like HTML entities, but it only, es um, only escapes, it only converts characters that have meaning. Um, like HTML entities will convert everything, but it doesn't really make much difference. So uh, yeah, I usually go for entities because it is easy to remember. I don't know, <laughs> to do. So yeah, uh, that is pretty much the end of this video. Um, that's what an XSS attack is, and HTML entities is how to prevent them. Obviously, I just quickly say uh, you would do this as you're inserting into the database because you don't want to convert. Like say, you wouldn't insert it you wouldn't insert this directly and then use this every time you output the data you should just do it when you insert the data so you'd insert this and then output just the result which in this case would be data so yeah that's pretty much everything there is to say about this um, oh yeah uh, quite a lot of the sort of big name sites if you like um, often forget this problem um, Maybe aware YouTube had one a bit ago that allowed for arbitrary JavaScript insertion. So, yeah, it's quite important. Don't forget it. Uh, okay, so thanks for watching, and hopefully you'll be able to do some more secure blog code stuff. So, yeah, cool.